Hi, welcome to the Air Manager API tutorial video series. In this video, we're going to be talking about inter instrument communication. So, here we are on the wiki page uh, again, looking at the API functions. Um, we're going to look at these uh, six functions here related to inter instrument communication. So, this these functions basically provide a way of individual instruments uh, that you create within Air Manager uh, communicating with one another and um, creating their own variable uh, variables and uh, commands uh, such that they can send uh, information to one another and uh, receive information from uh, other gauges um, so that they can communicate uh, as if uh, like in the real world they were uh, avionics boxes uh, connected up uh, with hardware um, sharing data. So let's delve straight into these uh, commands. Um, the first one up is the, uh, or, or the should I say, the first four relate to um, a variable and then the last two um, um, are to do with air manager commands. So we're going to talk about the variable uh, first. So the first four um, really relate um, to the uh, variables. In fact, it's only really three functions because this variable subscribe here is the same as what we've looked at previously with some of the other subscribes you can see here. Uh, so in the place of um, using it with uh, xplane or fsx or even fs2 as the source, you just use the uh, am for air manager in the uh, in the source. Uh, argument at the very beginning there and then the the rest of it is um, just the same as the uh, air manager variable subscribe statement so it's really just these three functions then that we need to concentrate on seeing as that one is the same as that one essentially um, and that is creating the variable because it doesn't exist so you're we're going to create that um, then we're going to subscribe to it very similarly to, to the way that we subscribe to a data ref or to a variable within FSX or even a, a message within FS2 and then um, a way of writing to that variable. So let's um, jump into the um, code window. So what I've created here is a, just a little um, a couple of test instruments um, so that um, uh, we've got two instruments because um, we're going to communicate between one and the other one so just to uh, show the demonstration of which code needs to go in which instrument depending on which, which way the information uh, is going. So what I've created uh, here in the um, first instrument um, is to create the variable is the very first statement that you see at the top here. Um, so I've given it an ID, uh, just a var ID, and then we use the statement um, from the uh, API page on the wiki uh, air manager variable create. So we give it a name of what we want to call that variable within air manager. It just needs to be unique if we're using a few different ones, so um, don't call them the same thing but give them a unique name there whatever you want. Um, I've just used my variable but um, obviously you'd probably uh, call that something more meaningful in terms of uh, uh, the type of information that you were trying to pass between instruments. You'd probably give it a name along those lines. This particular one is going to be of the type uh, boolean but you can have uh, the usual different uh, types in there in terms of um, if you want to send an int or a float etc. Um, you can send that but we're just going to send it a simple boolean true or false or we're, or we're going to set it up to be uh, a, a simple boolean true or false and then when we send the the, um, the data over um, we only have to set those two states just for the purposes of this demonstration but you can use it with um, the different data types. So then after that create um, I've created a button here for the test instrument um, which basically um, just uses our little switch image uh, again and if I just um, scroll along here you can see um, that um, it uses two um, callbacks uh, for the button one for the pressed state and one for the released state so essentially that's what these two functions are here so one says pressed callback one is released callback so what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, var ID that we created up here uh, there um, in the air manager uh, variable create statement and we're going to um, use the air manager variable write statement 
quoting that ID and we're going to say that whenever the but button uh, for this uh, button that we've added here whenever it's pressed this function will get called back and we're going to set the uh, the state of that boolean um, air manager variable uh, that we've just created to true and then when we release the button we're going to do exactly the same thing but this time we're going to set the um, state of that uh, air manager variable to false so that simply just creates the button and sets sets the state don't worry about this down here too much this is to do with the command which we're going to talk about in a, in a minute um, and then in the second instrument we have set up an image um, again we've just used I've just used um, the same um, switch image uh, this is in a different instrument now um, and what you can see here is I've created a subscribe um, to the variable that I called my variable. So if we go back to the previous instrument you can see I called the variable here this is that this is that unique uh, name um, my underscore variable so when we go here now so when I'm saying I want to subscribe so that's basically the name of like the data ref or the name of the variable in FSX um, and you use the same name to reference that variable um, within air manager so you say air manager variable subscribe the name of your variable that you created in the other instrument its type well we know it's a boolean because that's what we created and then a the name of a, a callback that you want to call whenever this um, variable in the other instrument changes just like it uh, as if you were subscribing to a data ref within the sim so the name of the callback is going to be called am var callback so uh, air manager variable callback here's the function for that uh, callback very simple it's just one line it's got a visible uh, statement in it and it's going to show or hide uh, the image uh, which is referred to by image ID here that, that we create at the start of the instrument here depending on whatever this variable that that, that is sent back from this callback called data is going to be so that data we know because it's a boolean type is either going to be true or false so depending on if uh, uh, what we send from the button push in the other instrument is a true or a false that true or false will be flicked into this uh, location here and that will make the uh, this image here also of the switch visible or not visible based on the, whether or not it's true or false or not again don't worry about this bit at the bottom uh, for the minute this is this relates to uh, the command function which we're going to talk about in a minute so it's only these it's only really this uh, couple of little bits here and the same uh, here well, this is just because we created a button but you don't have to do it this way you could just do a write depending on if you're just writing data it might just be an int you might have a a, con uh, a, a true false condition like with a switch like I've created here but this is just more for the test so really it's only one or two lines of code to actually create the um, the inter instrument uh, communication between two different instruments so let's run these two um, instruments together so what I've done is I've created a little test panel here with those two instruments uh, in it and you can see um, don't worry about the button on the right too much because that's uh, related to the command um, sorry yeah sorry that's related to the command which is this one here and then this other button add um, is this one here on the on the left um, that calls either one of uh, these air manager variable rights after it's been created so when I click on that uh, button you can see the image from the other instrument gets displayed and then when I let go it disappears again so let's just show you that very um, quickly here let's turn the uh, instrument off and you can see um, here the setup for the panel where I've got one instrument up here in the top left which is the one with the buttons on it and then I've got another instrument here which is the one that that's um, setting up the image and then it's uh, showing or hiding it depend on depending on the state of the uh, information that is getting back from the air manager variable subscribe so that's the image that you see appear over here so just just so you can see how that panels laid out there okay so we're here again click it shows let go 
so that's that's uh, that's the true and the false that it sends there uh, from this uh, button so that's true false pressed released and then in the subscribe it sends that true or false back as they change it calls this function and it basically returns that true or false into the visible there so when I've got my finger on the button it's uh, it sent the true the data hasn't changed so it's still seeing the 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 um, the visible is true and then when I let go of uh, the button the uh, released button function gets run and the false is sent and then obviously this callback picks up on that false and then it gets returned into here and therefore the image disappears again fairly straightforward we can do the same sort of thing using the command as I said you can with the with the um, um, subscribe here you don't have to use the boolean type as, as I've done with this example you can use an int so you could update that information and you could just send a number you could change it from 2 to 3 16 whatever number you wanted uh, and then this subscribe would just uh, here receive the number that you sent from the other gauge here and then you can just do with it as you wish depending on uh, what you're using the inter-instrument um, communication for so now we're going to have a little look at the uh, commands. So if we go back to the um, first instrument again, you can see here with the first instrument, I've set up a command. So I've set a few here that are commented out, and I'll explain what these other ones are for in a minute. But essentially, we're doing a, something similar here, but we're using the command. So I've set up a button uh, again. That's this second button over here. I'm using the same uh, switch images. Um, you can see the uh, uh, X is 100 there whereas on that one X is 0 so it's definitely the one on the right there for the command and the one on the left here which is uh, at 0 this one um, was the one that we used to test the um, the variable so now uh, the pressed and the released callbacks are now just called pressed 2 and released 2 so they are now these two functions here so when I press and release the second button here um, when I press it, we're now going to use an Air Manager command. Now, Air Manager command will just create a command, or whatever you call it, and then you can basically look for that command in your other instrument um, to see if if the, uh, an event has changed, i.e., someone's issued that command. So I've just called this uh, command test underscore button, um, and with the um, Air Manager command, let's just pull the wiki page up again uh, quickly. Um, you see here with the uh, with the actual command uh, type, I click on that function. You can see you have an op optional argument here that you can attach to it. So you can just send Air Manager command and the name of the command that you want to create, or you can optionally add this type uh, onto the end. Uh, of begin once or end. So very similar to um, an X-plane command where you can uh, send it a begin and you can send it an end or if you don't want to use the begin and the end you can just send it a once i.e. just send, send a command once and an action upon it. So what I've set up here it's just a demonstration of using those different types. So in this particular first example you can see that when I do pressed it will send test button begin and when I release it will send test button end so let's just see uh, why these other ones are commented out what that does so when I press the second button now you can see it basically does the same thing yeah so I press and it shows the image and I release and the image disappears so let's just see in the other instrument now what what is actually doing with that begin and that end in the other instrument so in the other instrument now um, I'm using the Air Manager com command subscribe, so I'm subscribing to the command this time, not to a variable. I know that it's called test underscore button because that's what I created in my other instrument here. So again, you have to have to make sure you use the right name there. And then the callback I want to call is Air Manager command callback, which is what I've created here. So I've just got a little if um, loop or statements going on here. Uh, and it's basically just going to uh, go around these um, these ifs uh, until it sees one uh, that's right and it's going to set the state of this variable image show uh, and then it's going to set the visibility based on whatever that image show is showing so 
once it receives the begin if the type that it receives um, bearing in mind that it this callback will get called every time this test button um, command is issued so in our previous example when I press it will issue test button and when I release it will issue test button okay so that callback will will get called on both of those occasions it just so happens it's going to get a different type being sent on each one one is going to be begin and one is going to be end so the um, so when it's begin when it receives the uh, when it gets the push and it receives the begin it will set image show to true hence why you see the uh, the image appear here and when it receives uh, an end type it sets the image show to false and therefore so there's the show and there's the false yeah so on off on off and then if it's neither of those two uh, which this one will come into play um, when I show you the other examples we're just going to toggle the image show so we're going to either show it and then when I click it again it'll it'll hide it and then it just puts that image show variable into the into the true or false for the visible here very simple so now let's go back to our original instrument and we'll comment out the begin and the end for the release we don't need the release function anymore and we'll just use first of all we'll start off with the once so you can send a once so now what will happen is if I rerun the panel now when I click the switch you see I've pushed it and I've let go of it and the image is still there because it's just issued a, a once so all that did in the other instrument was it now it's not the begin or the end uh, type anymore it's once so it's none none of those so here it's just going to toggle the image show so every time I push the button it's just going to toggle the image on off on off and the other just for completeness show you the last one so this is without any type in it at all so this is just literally issuing air manager command as the example is on the the wiki page um, air manager command and I've again called it the same thing test button so let's save that redo our panel and again this will do the same thing because it's neither begin or end so therefore by default with this else here it has to be the the toggle one so whenever that command is issued it just toggles the state of the uh, the image on or off so that let's go back so that is essentially into instrument communication you don't necessarily have to communicate between uh, two instruments you can communicate between more than uh, one instrument as if uh, a data bus from one instrument was connected up to several pieces uh, of equipment um, it's just a case of creating the uh, variable as if it was a data ref uh, similar to explain in the uh, air manager variable create and then just subscribe into that uh, variable or the command in that uh, for that matter um, subscribe into the either the variable or the command in all the other instruments that you want to receive that uh, piece of uh, information in so that is inter instrument communication thanks for watching see you again soon